The year was 2052. It had taken many, many years for travel snacks to finish these stupid window coverings. Hello, Snack Pack. Welcome back to Travel Snacks. Today's episode is about making the window coverings for my van. In today's video, it's a full-on mess. I try a couple different ways to make window coverings. I learned that I hate it and it took about two months to finally get it all done. Please just take this video as entertainment because I don't know if I made the best kind of window coverings. They turned out the way I wanted them, but I do a lot of trial and error, so learn from my mistakes. I also want to note this project was one of the most frustrating, I don't know why, and I really disliked it a lot. So in this video, I have a bad attitude. Usually I'm upbeat and positive but this just pissed me off. So let's jump right in. Okay, so the first step, why am I clapping? The first step in making the window coverings is getting some foam board cut. When I was back at home with my parents, I could have just done this on the table saw, but you could just use a handsaw. I asked the guy at Home Depot if he could cut the board for me, and he said he can't use the machine because it'll make too much of a mess, which is true. This stuff makes a total mess, but he was so delightful. He just got a straight razor and he's like, okay, I can cut it for you. And he cut like all these pieces for me. So this is just one board. I think it was about I don't know, eight or nine dollars. On its own, it doesn't have that great of an R value. And if you don't know what R value is, just Google it. It's the insulation levels. And I think this is like a three, which is not very insulating, but I ordered this from Amazon. This is like Reflectix, but better. It's called Smart Shield. Supposedly it adds more R value to the foam. I understand that this is silver and this is the reflecting part of it. I am gonna cover it up. So I'm pretty sure I'm taking away all the reflecting powers, but supposedly it's still insulated enough to add some to the foam board. You might be wondering why I'm using these tiny little bathroom scissors because I can't find my scissors. I have a nice pair of scissors and I just can't find them in the van. And my son here in Dallas doesn't have any scissors, which I don't understand why. And it's snowing outside, so I don't feel like driving to the store at this moment to go buy scissors. This is probably not the day to be doing crafts since it's snowing in Dallas. And I have to keep going in and out to measure and fit these. Step one in doing the window coverings that I'm choosing to do is to measure your windows. So on this pad of paper, I made some rough estimates to see if I could use one sheet of four by eight foam board. And I could, I just had to make sure that it was cut the proper way. And I just discovered a leak in my van. Dang. <sighs> so my son redeemed himself. He went to his friend's house and borrowed a pair of regular scissors. So now I don't have to use my little beauty scissors. All right, so I switched over to just some brown paper that I had from this package because this cardboard is just too hard to bend and maneuver to make a template, so this is very thin. And now I was able to make just a very basic template that's wet from snow. This is probably not the best day to be doing this. <laughs> all afternoon I am annoyed can I just pay somebody to do this I can't this is too no it's a mess I can't <sighs> okay so it's 42 days later I'm gonna finish this video because I already started it and I already bought these materials but I don't know that I would recommend this process it's not the process it's this effing material all these snowflakey things all over the place, all over the floor, all over my clothes, all over everywhere. If I wasn't in my son's house right now and I was trying to do this in a parking lot or on the road, I would have given up. Now, every time I go and fit this into the window, it's not fitting exactly. If there's too much space around the sides, it's just gonna fall out. And if it's too wide, of course, it's not gonna fit in there. I gotta keep doing like micro cuts to make this what it is, annoying. 
some Gorilla Glue and spray it on both sides. Put some plastic down first because you don't want all your stuff getting all glued up. And trust me, there's a lot of overspray with this, so protect your things, even the carpet. Okay, next you're gonna cover this thing in the material that you've chosen. So I just fold it over and I'm lining the edge up about an inch from the top and then on the sides, it's just enough for me to kind of fold it over. So what I did on the other one is I glued all of this down, glued the sides, glued the corners, but then I used stitch witchery and this is an iron-on adhesive just for the top. So then you have like a little lever to pull out your window covering when you don't want to be using it. Open a window. Grab the two pins. Pull it a little bit tightly. And fold over. Smooth it out. Don't think you're gonna get it out of this project without getting your hands sprayed with glue. So either wear some kind of adhesive resistant gloves or use acetone after the fact. A couple dollars at Walmart. out here. If you didn't put that snack pack, I don't know. Yeah, throw it. Yeah. I don't know what you're doing here. Let's go. Place it in between the two sections and push it up as close to the edge and down as possible. Where are you going? Are you going to get my Krispy Kremes? I'm thinking it's going to be a tomorrow morning tune. Like and subscribe to our channel. You can't see your face, you're so tall! Like, like and subscribe. Be sure to turn on your notifications. Ding ding. Um, yeah, get a snack and eat it up. Bam. I'm not gonna lie, it's a little bit big on the sides, but I don't care because it fits in there. If I wanna pull it out, I just use a little tab that I made. <sighs> Two down, four more to go. Here's the other one by my bed, which I'm just gonna leave because I lay my head on that side and I don't feel like I need to pull that one off and on every time. We started with this window. Now I'm gonna take this in and cut it. I'm gonna cut it, but I'm gonna cut it about quarter inch outside of the line so it has space to fit into the gap, into the groove. Next step, I'm using the Havelock wool because I had a lot left over. Laying it on top. You don't want it to be too, too thick because you don't want it to be like a big fat cushion pillow. You just want it to fit nicely into the window. And you want to leave the edges exposed for the glue. It kind of stretches too, so you could, you could stretch it like pizza dough. Try to get it fairly flat. Spray the Smart Shield. Especially the edges. Spray the wool. Get your top piece, spray it, and then spray this. Stack it like a pancake. Squish the edges down really good. Now you have the beginning of your window covering. All I have to do left is put some material on. Well, I'm gonna let this kind of relax and do the rest of them. The year was 2052. It had taken many, many years 
for travel snacks to finish these stupid window coverings. I hate this project. Freedom is just beyond two more panels. Okay, so I got some more material from Joann's. Had to go to a two different Joann's fabrics because they ran out dog hair everywhere. I've decided that I'm only going to put the material on one side. I didn't want the shiny side to be visible on the outside, but now that I tried it on my van with the couple that are already done, at night, actually in the daytime or at nighttime, you can't see the silver side because my windows are so darkly tinted. I'm only putting material on one side, which will give me back the benefit of the reflective side actually reflecting the sun in the summer, which it's probably gonna be more of an issue than the winter. That's what I'm thinking, because I can actually handle the winter because I have my heater. But for the summer, I think I'm gonna need all the help I can get. Cut the material about two inches over so you have enough to overlap the sides. I don't want to do this anymore cause I hate it. Why do I have to do because I'm cold? <sighs> And I really hate working with this glue because it always gets on my hands. I'm sick of it. Get off me. Okay, now do the corners. I learned this new trick off of YouTube. You cut one side of the curve, the edge, and make a little slit. You cut this side and make a little slit. And then, you spray that and you just fold it up like this. Well, it's not gonna be perfect, but. Go! Oh. oh my gosh! So annoyed with this stupid project. Anyway, you get the drift. Okay, then you spray the sides, fold them up just like a gift. This hasn't been a gift. Usually I'm super positive, but this has pissed me off. It's a lot of little stupid steps. It doesn't look pretty on this side. Or really on this side, because it's like, you know, you gotta just make it whatever. But they're done. It's pretty sad. perfect fit but if it it's <laughs> so cold okay so I'm gonna turn the light on in here and you'll see that you can actually see inside at night so that's why I wanted to have these window coverings not only for insulation but for privacy This is what it looks like inside the van. <laughs> They're not perfect, but they'll do. These two big pillows kind of insulate as well. Now I also have the window coverings back there. I'm not gonna say that it's gonna give you the most insulation ever, but for privacy and a little more insulation, I think it will do the job. Now I'm freezing and I gotta turn this heater on. Snack time. Snack time.